good morning. We're ready for our um, reading lesson today. We have a literature lesson today. Uh, you'll need your reader and your work text, but you will not have an assignment because we're gonna um, we're gonna do this ourselves. Okay, we're gonna be learning in our literature lesson today. We're gonna be learning about something called a simile. So let's look at our slides. I've got all these slides here. So first, we're gonna look at some uh, vocabulary. Uh, cables. The strong steel cables held the heavy object on the end of the crane. These here would be cables, very strong types of rope, sort of. It, not really rope, but kind of. Expression. My dad's favorite expression is, the early bird gets the worm. So an expression is something that someone says. It can mean a lot of things. But that's one of the things that it means. Now. Would you describe this to someone? Just say it out loud. Would you compare it to another object? Maybe a brick? You don't have anything in common. Not really. If you wanted to describe a person, could you compare him with an object? Finish these sentences. He is as loud as... She jumps like a... Make sure you're saying something. Her face was as red as... He ran like a... Did using comparisons make our descriptions better? In today's lesson, we're going to learn how authors use comparisons like we just did in their writing. So we're going to read pages 360 to 361. So look in your reader book on those pages. Go ahead and pause it until you get there. All right, let's go ahead and read. Did you, oh, there's a, there's a poem at the very top that I have to read to you first. Mom. It's called Trip, San Francisco. I went to San Francisco. I saw the bridges high, spun across the river like cobwebs in the sky. I apologize. I lost my place, so I have to get back to where we were. All right, so I've read the poem to you, Trip, San Francisco. It says, I went to San Francisco. I saw the bridges high, spun across the water like cobwebs in the sky. So you see where they use the word like, and they're comparing two things. Now do you see down at the bottom where it says reading similes? Let's look right there. When a writer compares two things that are really different by using the keywords like or as, the expression he makes is called a simile. I saw the bridges high, spun across the water like cobwebs in the sky, uses the keyword like. It compares bridge cables and cobwebs, two things that aren't really similar. These are the two ways that you can know that this expression is a simile. When you come across a simile in your reading, notice it. First, make sure that it really is a simile. Allison looked like she was angry is not one. Why not? Well, it can't be because it uses the word like, but it's not comparing two things that are different. The dandelion leaf was like lion's teeth is a simile. Why? Because it uses like and it compares two things that are different. Okay. Next, try to decide if it is a good simile or not. Does it make a new picture in your mind? Or is it an old expression that you've heard many times before? Does she was as quiet as a mouse give you a new picture or an old one? What about the cat acted as wild as a winter storm? Okay, the best way to learn how to write good similes is to pay attention to the good similes that you read. They can help you think of new word pictures to liven up your writing and practice writing similes too. Your teacher can help you make similes better. Then you can write expressions that will last a long time in someone's memory. Okay, so let's go ahead. So in that poem, it com the, in that poem, Trip, the author compares uh, bridges to cobwebs. So this is a simile. 
a comparison of two unlike objects using the words like or as. Okay? All right, let's take your work text out. We have two pages to do. We don't have to complete each page. Um, this is just a little skill that we're learning. We'll be practicing on this a whole lot more later on. So we're going to work on these pages. Look at page 145 in your work text. Okay, now 1 through 7 at the top, we're going to read it. If it's a simile, if it contains a simile, then we're going to put S there. If it does not, we're going to leave it blank. Okay, now, but you have to answer before me. Number one, Mary runs like a leaf in the wind. Yes, because it uses the word like and it's comparing Mary to a leaf, two different things. Number two, Jake looks a lot like his big brother. No, it uses like, but it's not comparing two things. Number three, Grandma was moving as slow as cold cheese sauce. Yes, that is a simile, so put an S there. It's comparing Grandma to cold cheese sauce, and it uses the word lock. Number four, the grass is as dry as it was last week. No, that is not. It uses the word as, but it's not comparing two things. Number five, the stray dog was as skinny as a broomstick. Yes, that is one. Okay. Number six, our pond was frozen as smooth as glass. Yes, that's a simile, comparing the pond uh, to glass. Number seven, after his ball games, Rick drinks like a whale. Yes, he uses the word like, and it's comparing Rick to a whale. All right, very good. Now, at the bottom, it says to complete the similes. So you're going to use the phrases in that orange box to fill in these things here. You don't have to write it. We're going to talk about it, okay? All right, so God's Word guides us like which one of those up there would finish that and make a good simile? You choose it and say it first before I do. God's word guides us like a shining spotlight. Comparing God's word to a shining spotlight, and it's using the word like. Number two, or the next one, it is pure like fresh spring water. Is that what you said? The next one, God's word is as firm as A mighty anchor. I bet that's what you said. The next one, it is as precious as gold and jewels. God's word is as sweet as honey in the mouth. Very good. I bet you got every one of those. All right, look at the next page. At the very top, it says, when a simile has been used a lot, it becomes a cliche. You see that dark word up there? It has a little line above the E. It becomes cliche when it's been said a lot. Good authors think of more creative ways to say the same thing. So, Kaylee is as sweet as pie. Kaylee is as sweet as a chocolate sundae. What about my dog Jake is as hungry as a bear? See, those are things that we say all the time. Those are cliche. How about my dog Jake is as hungry as a lion on the prowl? What about my little brother eats as slowly as a turtle? My little brother eats as slowly as a crawling freight train. I don't think that's a good one, but I guess it is. All right, so let's look at these cliches down here and see if we can see if we can fix them. Again, you don't have to write these in. We're just talking about these. Okay? Now, the first one says, Paul is as busy as a bee. Now, busy as a bee is a cliche because that's, that is a comparison that has been used over and over and everybody just uses it. We just say it. It's cliche. So let's see if we could if we could do a different one. That would mean the same thing. So Paul is as busy as a bee, or we could say Paul is as busy as a
horse eating hay. How's that? Paul is as busy as a baby who's hungry. I don't think that's a really good one. You might have thought a better one. Let's let's look here. Let's look down at um, my backpack was as light as a feather. Light as a feather is cliche because it's just said all the time. So let's see if we can figure this out. My backpack was as light as a mouse. My backpack was as light as air. My backpack was as light as a bug. I bet you said a better one. Let's look at the last one. Grandma's food was so good that I ate like a pig. That's cliche. Okay. Now, Grandma's food was so good that I ate like a buffalo. I ate like a cow. I ate like a, what can we say, baby. No, because babies don't eat much. That wouldn't be a good one, would it? Grandma's food was so good that I ate like crazy. <laughs> no, because we're not comparing two things. I ate like, I like a cow. That's the one I think is the best. I bet you said a good one, too. All right, good job. So we've learned about similes and cliches. A cliche is a simile that's been used over and over again. Very good. No assignment today, so that'll be all for today.